Hey, Southfield, this is an Animals News Beat. Paws Around Motown is a, a dog walking and pet sitting company. Um, we really cater our care to the animals that we take care of. Um, we have, uh, we take care of primarily dogs and cats, but we're really not opposed to taking care of any animal. We just might need some instruction if we don't have a lot of experience with them. Um, but we're, we take care of primarily dogs and cats and guinea pigs and fish. I started by volunteering for animal rescues. I used to walk dogs during um, adoption events on my days off from work, and I loved taking care of them so much. You become so bonded with those pets that I thought, how can I do this all the time, short of going back to school for 10 years and becoming a veterinarian? So I started working for some other companies that do you know, these types of things and decided that I really love meeting new people and meeting new animals so much that I really just wanted to start a company of my own. We have about 200 customers. Uh, we care for probably about 250 dogs and I'd say 40 cats. Um, and we have, there are 12 of us in total that provide pet care, and that includes myself. We do um, uh, what is called a pet taxi. So we'll drop your pets off and pick them up at the groomer. Some dogs go to daycare. We have dogs that we pick up from daycare and take them home and take them for a walk. Um, we do yard waste cleanup services. Um, so some of those are weekly, some are bi-weekly, but we'll come pick up your yard for you. We do uh, vacation visit packages. So some dogs don't necessarily need someone to stay the night with them. Uh, and so some dogs will go in and, and visit them maybe three or four times a day so that they can stay on their regular feeding and medication schedules and whatnot. And then we do our dog walking and we also do cat sitting. So we scoop the litter and feed them. We started in the, in the Berkeley, Birmingham, and Royal Oak area, but we have extended our region just in kind of going out in circles. We now cover the whole Woodward Corridor. So we cover from Detroit down through Waterford, and then we cover um, Farmington, Wald Lake, West Bloomfield, Rochester. We've been out to Rochester for some pet sitting, Clinton Township. We do a, what's called a free initial in-home consultation. So we'll come meet you, come meet your pets. We basically walk the home where all the pets' um, things are, what are their routines, uh, does, are they fearful of anything, uh, what do they really like, uh, uh, what do they eat? How often? Are they on medication? We cover all that during that consultation. Myself as the owner and my assistant, Megan, we go to every consultation. So we actually meet every pet that's in the care of the company. And we're kind of the first and last line of defense for any emergencies that might come up. But we like to feel very integrated into the family with those pets. And so we know every pet in our care. And then we'll typically take one to two walkers with us on the consultation so that the pet parents can actually meet who's going to be taking care of their pets. It's a little bit of a healthier um, environment. You're not around other dogs. You don't have as much risk for disease and parasites and things like that. Also, um, the, the risk is minimal as far as <clears throat> um, like dog-to-dog -dog interactions. You don't really have to much worry about fights and stuff like that. Um, and it's just, it's, a lot of people do it because their dogs are either maybe not dog friendly or just that they work really long days. The average walk is about 30 minutes. Um, we do offer 45 minute walks and 60 minute walks as well. We arrive at the home um, and we utilize a pet sitting software. So we GPS check in. Uh, we go in and again, we, you know, we meet the pet, whether it's in a crate or you know, in the house, and we take them out for their walk. Um, then we document what, the, what we did on our walk, where we went, and kind of um, stuff we saw, and then um, you know, if the dogs went potty, and then we GPS check out, upload a picture, and um, so type our message. And that's pretty much it. We are um, a bonded and insured company, so that makes a lot of people feel better when you know new people are coming into their homes. We request three copies of the key needed to gain entry into the home. Um, two of those keys are assigned to the primary and the secondary pet sitter, and then the third key is kept in a secure location for the management team so that we always have an emergency backup 
Some people utilize garage codes and door codes and things like that, and so that helps in the event of an emergency uh, where say maybe there's a power outage and the garage door doesn't open, um, a key gets dropped down the sewer. I mean, stuff happens, uh, a car gets in an accident, you know, things like that. So we like to have that emergency key. Um, and then the, pri the, the primary and the secondary pet sitters will keep those secure with them as well. We're a largely mobile business. Um, I would love to have an office where we could do, maybe have some space to do some puppy socialization classes, um, a place where our team members can kind of meet and join up. And then I'm actually going to school uh, to become a certified dog obedience trainer. And so eventually, probably in about six months or so, we'll be offering a training service as well. So I would love to do something where I have training classes. We are a, a pet sitting company that started on the passion of taking care of animals. We love them, they're our life. Everybody that works here has had some kind of experience with some kind of pets um, or has worked in the industry. Um, and I think that it's important for people to know that when they're taken care of by us, they are truly going to be treated like they're part of our family. We call it our family. We treat them like they're our own, sometimes even better. I mean, I feel good knowing that my pups are at home with my husband, but those pups that have people on vacation, I might pop by and do an extra visit or stay a little longer or just give that pet whatever they need. Thank you.